This spring at Phillips marks the start of a very exciting sales season for the New York Editions department. We've added two new live sales to the calendar, including our first ever from our Southampton Gallery. Let's kick off the season by talking about one of the things I love most about printmaking, the many ways artists use color. Let's start with the foundational hues of blue, yellow, and red. The use of these three colors in varied materials runs a spectrum from the flat, hot, geometric pop screen prints of Nicholas Krusnek in the 70s to the glossy plastic reds of Roxy Payne's early 2000s sculptures. Blue. The color artists have dedicated entire melancholic periods to and created copyrighted pigments for. Ellsworth Kelly's blues often have perfectly paired companions. Blue and orange, from the suite of 27 color lithographs. These two Lawson-shaped complementary colors face each other in an eternal staring contest. And in yellow over dark blue, from the same suite, the blue is the geometric underdog pinned down while floating in space. Yellow. As the artist Richard Tuttle noted, yellow is an important color. Alexander Calder exemplifies this warmth and lightness with his saturated soaring yellows undulating next to the blue, red, and orange shapes and symbols in his beautiful series of five lithographs, Flying Colors, from 1974. But yellow is the neediest color as well. Cause screen print portfolio What Party consists of a spectrum of seven hues depicting his now iconic character, Chum. It is the fluorescent yellow portrait of Chum that demands our gaze the most. Red, color of love, passion, violence, and blood. If red were a competition, I'm not sure who does it best. The iconic Chicago Bulls red of Ed Paschke's hand-colored screen print of Michael Jordan, the poetic pastel lines of Edel Adnan's drawing from the price we do not want to pay for love, or Leon Polk Smith's red hot pointed star in his 1974 screen print from his color form series. Might it be the spectral washy blossoms and bourgeois I do, or Derek Adams with his brick red background surrounding the female form in interior life. The graphic red of Barbara Kruger's iconic text works is certainly a contender. And then there's the gestural scratchy red enveloping the frantically drawn figures and the collaged handmade books of Purvis Young. Whatever color you're most obsessed with, there's something here for you. So please join us on March 11th for our first live sale of 2022 in our showroom at 432 Park Avenue or from anywhere in the globe on the Phillips website.